64 degrees at game time tonight at Petco Park. And that's line towards second, caught by Edgar Gonzalez. You know, the second pitch of the game, Terrio lines out. That's and as a pitcher, it really, really sticks in your craw after having two outings like that. You have to wait five days. Towards the middle, backhanded by Edgar. And on to Adrian, the stretch and two down. He's ahead in the count. No, he evens the count. He's not afraid to go inside to the lefties or the righties. Bradley Wax, one in the air, deep to right center field. Wind back, pulls up in front of the track to make the catch. Significant one now still on the DL of the everyday players. 2-2. Two -two. Tony swings and misses and strikes out. Stays on deck while his brother digs in. In on the grass at third with Scales. Full count on Adrian with two outs in the first. Strokes at the right field. And Milton Bradley waiting on it. 4, 5, and 6 for the Cubs in the second to face Josh Gear. And cleanup hitter Derek Lee. Swings at the first pitch and Jackson in the air deep to left center field. Gwynn and Hairston back and Tony Leaping gets out into the bullpen a home run. Number 5 on the season for Derek Lee. 1 nothing Chicago. Well, there's a long ball that the Cubs have been waiting for. Number five on the year for Derek Lee. A solo shot. And first pitch, Hacken. He got the fastball right down the middle. Five in a row. It's the old rubber stamp talk from the manager. Just, you know, go out there and relax. Off power. Squirts it out to Burke. Out by a step at first. Towards the hole, a diving attempt by Burke, but in the left field, and Soto has a base hit. Soto on the run again, and that's lined to the right, a base hit. Soto will stop at second as Giles plays it back in. Make it to the big leagues and finally get a chance. Scales to left field. Hairston angling, makes the grab, and the runners will hold. Towards right center field, Gwynn wants it. The leadoff home run by Lee. They're both starting pitchers. Neither team wow. has seen either pitcher. There's the second strike. Three two. Just missed. Boy, Soto framed that and held it. Bounced out to third, charged by Scales. Out at second, out at first. Bob Brenly, the color analyst for the Cubs, calls Terrio the riot. We break down his name, Terrio. Right center field. Giles in front of Gwynn. And as you take a look at the defense from up here, it's pretty much straight away. Yes, he did. By his back hip pocket, still. And then he can... Manipulate the bat in a way to hit the ball solidly. Bradley towards the middle. Edgar has time to plan and throw him out. Still, still getting cool downtown on May 23rd. And he hits it to Fontenot. Chopped out to third. And scales. Two outs. Third games would have been eight, ten hours long if they had, we had a clubhouse that nice. <laughs> Back to the mound, gear on the third base side fields and throws out Derek. Yeah, more than a couple. <laughs> yeah, we had, we actually uh, it actually started in third inning. Out in the left center field and Hawk Power is a one out single. So it begins in the third inning. It begins in the first inning. A first, okay. I don't know if it's sad to say, but I, I don't I don't really keep up with uh, right. with the rosters. 10, 15, 20 people deep. I mean, it was unbelievable. Strikeout in the inning. Comparing notes, huh? Seeing Edgar and Adrian talking on the bench. Left field. Huff power just back a few steps. Oh, that got him. 
Get a ball four. It's a hit by pitch. In these spots nicely. Burkett with one out. Edgar takes off. Ball hit in the air to left field. Off power ranging and along the edge of the track makes the catch. Edgar back to first. Two down. If that is in fact the change up sign. Yep. And out of the center field, there's the first Padres base hit. Edgar on his way to third, and he's going to make it without a throw from Fukudome. Runners at the corners with two down. Line down the left field side. Fair into the corner. Edgar scores to tie it. Harrison's going to be waved around third, and he wins. Slide in safely without a throw. Two-run double for Brian Giles, and it's two to one Padres. Cruz softly to third. Scales throw hops. Throws about eight nine and one for the Cubs. Josh Gear now pitching with a lead. That's popped up and in his shallow left field. And Hairston on to make the throw it hard. Uh, but when Tony got on, I figured that he wasn't going to. Do anything more than try to just battle me one on one. Right. He wasn't going to try to fool defense, and we put pressure on the defense because it was their series to lose at that point. Bounce so up the middle and uh, and and for those of you who may remember that day, it was a Sunday afternoon. It was like a three something start for uh, East Coast, and then I get ahead up the middle. All of a sudden, it's five three, and you got Gossage coming in for not a closing one inning, but a couple, and it was game over. Burke flies to right. Milton Bradley makes the catch. Guy, the best I've ever seen. <laughs> and he gave me a kiss on the lips, too. <laughs> and that's what you do as teammates in those situations. The kind of guy he is, the way he is with the fans, with the press, with everybody. He's just such a... Here brings his 90th pitch of the night. Strike three on the... 13 of the last 14. Charged by Burt. They make it 14 to 15. Randy Wells 0 2 pitch. Strike three on the inside. Like we do, you got to come in. <laughs> Your pitching staff was a, a close knit group. Magical. What did you think of spring training that year? Because I know every team has expectations. I just want to make the roster. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, well, were you, no, were still you in good. that situation where well, you were kind of like on the. I, I, I didn't perceive you as a guy no. that. Eight months old. Grandpa Dave. Oh, man. Buddy, you talk about. That's the best thing since. Uh, you know, he didn't have a very good spring, and he admitted it. And uh, he made some changes that he had to make, and just total nothing. They beat us uh, uh, four to two, and we're making plans for a vacation. On the plane back because we, you know, we didn't think we had a shot. Yeah, catcher, that he's not thinking about his hitting, and uh, so he'll be all right. We just, we're just everybody's contributing, and that's you know throughout the whole lineup. Even the bench is doing good. Kind of reminds you of 1984. Exactly. Fondo takes off line left field. Hairston makes the grab to win the inning. Fun. I got to tell you, Craig Lefferts in the house. One How's game, game five and game four. Game four and five. Yeah. Of the NLCS against the Montreal. Montreal sent Scott Sanderson in. Okay. And so that was a three-way trade. And, uh, and it was a beautiful winner go home, right? Oh, yeah. And pitching those two games. And, uh, you know, it, as, a, as an athlete, when we get out there and we're doing our thing. There we go. Diving attempt by 1984. We revisit the. Championship season, and there is a ball called against Randy Wells. I've got two pitchers in the booth here with me, and I'll let him take this one. Lefty, take this one. Uh, he, he balked. It stopped, and that's why they call the balk. Starting to stop. Yep. That's it. Right back Racing. up the middle, in the center. Hundley racing for the plate. Fukudome won't make a throw. And boy, does that ball play a big part here. Burke knocks in an insurance run. Three to one Padres. Big run right there, Mark. Huge. Huge run. Cubs offense not swinging the bats well lately. And Chris Burke, Midnight Express coming through big time, fighting one off. I look like a
high breaking ball on the inside part of the plate. Didn't hit hard, but in between the defenders. <laughs> yeah, it was always awesome. like that. It was, it was terrible for me and awesome for everybody else that had a, had a good laugh. But, uh, yeah, you know, you have had bent. Towards the middle. Edgar able to get in front of it. Two outs. Three. He go. Make it 0 for 4. Gregerson. Wind swinging at the first pitch. A fly ball short right center field. And Milton Bradley cruises in. Beach of team, but he never got a chance to do that. It's slowly on the ground to Fontenot. Retiring Edgar. And he walked him. We are so good. <laughs> we were all very happy that the Cubs did not make it. Now that I've gotten older, I just don't have that. Bradley, please hit left field. And Mojica was one strike away from getting the save last night. Ah. Moved down into left center. Bradley takes the turn. He'll go to third, and the Cubs have runners at the corners with nobody out. Tying runs on here in the ninth. Grounded to first. Adrian steps on out. Nice. Look to third. The tag. Double play in the runner. Bradley remains at third. There's that double play we're looking at. Huge double play. Two down. He could have not hit that ball any better right at Adrian Gonzalez. This ball is smoked. Breaking ball down and in. The gold glover checks the runner at third. You freeze him. The force plays off. Tag him at second. One pitch, two outs. Huge. Mujica's 3-2 to Soto. Yeah! Got him! Get Soto looking. Padres win it 3-1. And have won eight in a row.